Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. This is a case of Miller versus Troutman. Thank you, Jerome. You're welcome. Good day, everyone. Mr. Miller, you claim your girlfriend, Ms. Troutman, left you for another man. Yes, you say that when she returned, you forgave her and quickly resumed your sexual relationship. Yes. Shortly after, she announced she was pregnant. Now you claim there's a distinct possibility that you're not the father of her newborn baby, Deja. Nope. Now, Ms. Troutman. Yes, Your Honor. You admit to leaving Mr. Miller for another man and to having a two-week affair. Yes. You claim you left because Mr. Miller wasn't taking care of you or his family responsibilities. You argue you're also fed up with his mother, Mrs. Miller, because she butts into your relationship and has convinced yes. the plaintiff that he is not your baby's father. Yes. Now, Ms. Troutman. Yes. How did you end up in this situation? Well, I wouldn't have been sleeping around with other men if he was doing his responsibility as a father and taking care of his girls and me also. He wasn't buying diapers, wipes, clothes. His mother was the man of our relationship. She took care of us. She put a roof over our head. She took all of us in. How did you two meet? I uh, was staying with both of my parents. Uh, my father is deceased. Um, so I kind of grew up a little bit rough. I grew up with my mother. She was a single parent. But um, she was not a mother to me. She was more of my friend. I took care of my brother and my sisters, and I just got tired of living that life. So I started to run away from home. Well, when I ran away from home, I had met Tony's mother, Cindy. Um, she took me in. She, you know, put clothes, roof over my head, food in my mouth. She was a mother that I never had before. Mm -hmm. I love her dearly, and I thank her dearly for doing that for me. And, um, well, one day we were sitting outside. I was sitting with her neighbor, and um, a car pulls up. And I'm like, well, who is this, you know, pulling up in front of my mother Cindy's house? You know, I look up to her as a mom. And um, it was her son. Um, me and him got to talking, knowing each other a little bit, and um, it, we hit it off. We had sex that night. Oh, you got to know each other just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. We, we clicked really good. No. We did click. Yeah. Okay, just one moment, ma'am. Continue. And, um, well, um, maybe prior to two to three weeks, that's when I was feeling a little bit nauseous, throwing up all the time. So him and his mother suggested that I was pregnant. And come to find out, I was. But after, you know, we found out I was pregnant, everything went good. It was okay. We all had a good relationship. They was there for me. They helped me through my pregnancy. They was there when I gave birth to her. Everything was fine. Mr. Miller, let me hear your account of this. Uh, wait, I, I fell in love with her. For, love at first sight, you know? Okay. I did. I love it. That's lovely to say. I did. And, and you had one child together. We had one child together after being with her for a month. And then you're on to number two. Yes, yes, we're, we have a second child, Deja. And you have doubts about number two. I do have doubts. I, Why? I go out of town, and I came home, and I, I seen her with another guy at the Plaza Center. And I, he, he was holding my firstborn. I said, who's this guy holding my, my kid? And she said, oh, that's my boyfriend. I'm like, really? You know, I, I go out of town for a week, and you already have another boyfriend. And I said, well, Wait a minute. You yeah. go out of town? I go out of town. For how long? For a week. For a week? One week. And you come back and somebody's holding your first child. Chelsea, yes. When you ask her, I she her. says, that it's my boyfriend? It's, it's my boyfriend. True. That's not true. That's I'm with Well, him. what happened, Ms. Trauman? Well, what happened was, was when he had went away, we was broken up. We had got into an argument. We were no longer together when I was dating the person that I met at the Plasma Center. We were not together. We were still so talking. So when he did come back on his trip, me and my friend with my daughter was leaving the plasma center and he was walking down the street. So Tony approaches me and he's all happy. He's lovey dub. He's like, what's going on? I'm like, nothing. Me and my friends finna walk to my mom's house for my daughter's birthday. He's like, well, can I talk to you for a moment? I'm like, yeah, we can talk. He's like, I'm so sorry for us getting into it. I apologize. No, no, no. I you really were... want you no, back. No, 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 Will no. you please come back home with me? Then he got to talking about how he was going on some trip or whatever with a friend. He didn't want to live here no more in Indy or whatever. And I was like, okay, you know, I, I felt for it. I told him that I'd come back home with his daughter. And I did. I did. Later on that night, I came back home. Oh, so in just that encounter... He changed your mind, and you said, I'm gonna come back home. Yeah, I mean, the guy that I was with, I mean, 
I was I was upset when me and him got into it. I was lonely. I was looking for some comfort, and After he showed me fight. that comfort. One fight. He and it, you it, admit no, it that was not during, just no one fight. No, Miss Troutman, you admit that during that time you were intimate with another man. Yes. And during that time, were you intimate with anyone else? No. Well, yes, I was when me and him. I'm sorry. Really? Yes, Get I it was straight. when. When me, and him, when me and him got into it and we had broken up, yes, I was with that guy that I was with. The plasma but, center guy. Yes, but we were separated. We were not together. And was that the only man you were with during no, that, that time? No, that is not the only guy that I was with. Okay. Continue. Well, um, me and Tony relationship has not been A1. There, it's, it's been so rough and I've, 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 I've just got tired of it. I got tired of the arguments between him and his mom. My kids are hearing all it is to where my daughter's saying to shut up and all this extra stuff. So I got tired of it. And you were so disgusted by that. that I, you I ran left. out the house, and slipped on a banana peel, and no. landed in the bed with somebody no, else. No, I called, no. I called, no, that is not what happened. I'm trying to no. figure out how this That's not what happened. No. leads no. up to you sleeping no. with yet another man besides the plasma center guy. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. You were so disgusted by that, that I, you I ran left out the house, and slipped on a banana peel, and no. landed in the bed with somebody no, else. I called, no, I called, no, that is not what happened. I'm trying to no. figure out how this That's not what happened. No. leads no. up to you sleeping no. with yet another man besides the plasma. Center guy, come on. Let, let, well, tell I the moved truth in now. with my auntie, and you know she got to telling me how to, how he's not right for me, how I need to do better for me and my kids, and she was like, um, you know, she got to telling me about the little chat line or whatnot, have you? And I got on it, and I, I met a guy. I did. He took me out, and yeah, we slept with each other that night that we went out and met each other. I get on the chat line, Your Honor. She doesn't even know that it's me, and she tries to holler at me while I'm on the chat line. That is not true. You do, that's on the true. chat line. No. So a you friend, were playing no. Dick Tracy, that's, that's, that's and you true. got on the chat no, line. I did. And you began to talk to her on the chat line to see if she would respond. respond. Yes, Your, Your Honor. Honor. And she took the bait. She did. But my friend already knew who it was, so he didn't catch anything. You were still But I on do the have the line. calendar of the, when I did sleep with the men. Okay, I did. so I, you submitted the issues surrounding the date of conception. Yes. Jerome, can you please hand me that? Thank you. You're welcome. So you have a February calendar laid out so we can understand what all was going on. Yes. In yellow, we have the dates you were with the chat line guy. Yes, ma'am. The green outlines the dates you were with the guy at the plasma center. Yes, ma'am. And the blue are the dates you were intimate with Mr. Miller. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> you look from the date Deja was born at the end of November, look back. It's clear that three different men could potentially be her father. Not three, just one. The estimated time of conception is outlined in bold and included within that is a rainbow of colors. <laughs> so, if you say there's only one potential father, mm -hmm. who is that? There's only one potential father. Mm -hmm. Who is that? I'm hoping that it's Tony. I'm, I'm hoping that it's him. But, I mean, as me, all three could be the dad. All, all three could be. And I can see that hurts you to say. You're very emotional right now. What are you feeling? I'm just hurt, because we wouldn't be going through this if he was there. If he was there, we, we, it wouldn't be no problems right now. It wouldn't be. But he was not there. He was not there as a father. He was not there to comfort me. He was not there. When you say comfort you, you mean in general? Or was there some particular instance that you felt like 
he let you down or he wasn't there for you? We had a threesome with one of her friends one time. Okay. With, and and I, I think it I might be the blame for her wanting to cheat on me because of that, because we had a threesome. I mean, it, I, I told her she was she wanted to do it. It wasn't my idea. It wasn't just a threesome. It was times that I woke up in the morning and seen him doing something to her. There's also been times when I went through his phone and he's got pictures of her in her her no, underwear. You... In her underwear, there I was didn't... a time we were sitting in the car and he went through her phone like we didn't know what he was doing to transfer, transfer some of her photos from her phone to his. And I feel like that he got a foul in the computer of pictures of us, if you really want me to be honest. Mm. So this is an interesting fact. And, uh, Ms. Troutman, you fell for what I call the okey-doke. The short form of that is don't write a check that later you can't cash. You can't cash. <laughs> this relationship is now in jeopardy because of choices you both made. Immature choices. We're not just talking about Deja. You have another child together. Yes. Yes, ma'am. So you two are parents running around here acting like you all are experimenting and enjoying life. And no, you have responsibilities. <laughs> and then unfortunately, at the end of the day, Ms. Troutman, you're allowing him to do things that you can't handle emotionally. Then, because you feel like he betrayed you, you go out, make a rainbow colored mess, and then come back and blame it on him. <laughs> But I, I love you. I love her. I, I still love her. We, we still get along. We, she's my best friend. I just hope Deja is mine. That's wonderful. I want to hear from your mother. Miss Miller, oh, please stand. I've been waiting for You've been waiting for your I've turn. Been, you let me up here. I am ready to yeah. hear from you. While I'm buttoning in their business, then let them go find their own place to live, by the way. Okay. Okay, I heard that. I'm buying diapers. They should both be working, doing what they're supposed to do, and then I won't butt. But and these kids are, are needing things that they can't provide, and I've been helping out. And I seen that guy. He, Deja looks just like him. I wanted to believe her because she said it was my son's baby, it's my Which grandbaby. Which guy did you see? I seen the guy. I went and picked, Tony and 5%. I went and picked her up. 5%. That, they both saw the guy. That she uh, was 5%. gone two weeks. With. Bottom line is, you got a glimpse. I know what he looks like, and I seen, I seen Deja, and I can't help but think, I hope not, but looks, she looks just like the Which other guy. Which guy, the plasma guy the or plasma the chat line guy? The plasma guy. The plasma guy. Plasma guy. You feel yes. like she looks just like him? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Prove me wrong. Please. Do you want this young girl I to be your grandchild? These. I love both little children, both of them. They're my babies. Show them a picture. Show them both of them. <laughs> she sure is acting like a yeah. grandparent. I love them dearly. The first one, Chelsea, she's attached to my hip. They're adorable. Just adorable. And I it's just Chelsea. love both of them. It's Deja. It's not going to matter. I'm going to love them both anyway. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Now, Ms. Troutman, what are your hopes today? I hope that she's his. I want her to be his. I really do. And this is very important to you. <laughs> it is. Because truly, these people standing over here are your family in more ways than one. They've been there through thick and thin for me. Mm -hmm. This is the only mother that's done anything for me. And I will tell anybody that any day. And I don't want her to grow up like me. I want her to have both of her parents. When I see situations like this where I know a child is loved and accepted, part of me wants to rip up the results. Because if we don't know, she'll never know. And then she can just receive the love that she deserves. However, I know that the truth in the end is something that is invaluable that even knowing this information for her 
if, Mr. Miller, you are not determined to be her biological father. She should know. Yeah. Jerome, the envelope, please. <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. When it comes to the paternity of eight-month-old Deja Miller, Mr. Miller. Yes, Your Honor. You are not her father. Hey, hey, hey. Patrice. Patrice, baby, I, I love you, baby. I, I will. I, come here. Hey, hey. Jerome, Your can Honor. you please go check on Mr. Miller and Miss Troutman? May I say something to you? Yes, ma'am. This family has been torn over this a lot, and this has helped. And I want to thank you for you and your staff. Your and kindness. I thank you. Right, thank I you. thank you for coming and being right. strong enough. They're going to come back in. Thank you for returning to the courtroom. I know this was emotional for both of you. Can you put into words what you're feeling, Ms. Troutman? I'm hurt. I'm you're just... Hurt. I'm, I, I can't blame nobody but myself. I can't blame nobody but myself. You really <sighs> wanted Mr. Miller to be her father. I did. Yeah, I did. I really, really did. Mr. Miller, how do you feel? In my gut, I always kind of knew, but like I said, I, I don't care. I love him. I do. I'm dad. I just, it hurts, you know? I know without question that you love these children. I know without question that you love Mr. Altman. You two have acted irresponsibly as it relates to your relationship. But when you become parents, you got to get it together. Sweet. Because it's not Ms. Miller's responsibility to buy the diapers and make sure these children are okay while you all are out running around having threesomes and acting like you don't have any sense. That's well said. I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you. Court is adjourned. Ms. Troutman, let me see you for a second. You've got a young man that loves you despite those bad decisions. With his mother standing by him, saying that she still loves your children even though her baby boy is not the father of your little girl. When you have a blessing like that served to you on a platter, feast. Are we clear? Yes, ma'am. I'm going to be watching. You.